A small group is still gathered on a downtown Colorado Springs sidewalk, part of the Occupy protests going on all across the country. Those involved say this is clearly an example of freedom of speech in action. They also bring up another part of the First Amendment, the right to peaceably assemble. But most agree that right is an absolute. News 5's Bill Folsom joins us tonight with both sides. Bill? Yeah, Lisa, there are protesters saying that the First Amendment allows them to be on public property every day and around the clock. Then there are city leaders and the police saying you still have to abide by city ordinances. A small group picks Acacia Park to protest, some wanting to occupy the area 24 hours a day. It leads to a meeting with police who say the city has rules. What we're doing is we're going to explain the laws to you. Occupation is protected under the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Lawyer City and ACLU lawyers who are watching out for protesters differ on unrestricted use of public space. The city attorney who is out of town says the city has full confidence in the Acacia Park use regulations and city camping restrictions, adding they've been upheld in court countless times. And it doesn't mean that we see it appropriately applied to protesters. Lauren Werbel with the ACLU says they don't agree. They question the city's camping ordinance and say camping itself can be a symbolic form of free speech. We're there to kind of push back to say, no, keep it as open as you possibly can. Debate from rights formed more than 200 years ago. Parks and sidewalks, those are always considered traditional uh, public forums. So uh, we know pretty much what the law says on this. UCCS political science professor Josh Dunn teaches about the Constitution. He says precedent allows the protesters to gather and say what they want to say at the park, but it also requires them to follow the rules the rest of the public has to follow. That is if the city was being inconsistent in its application of its own regulations. So as long as the city enforces its curfew and no camping rules at the park for everyone, they can do the same for protesters. Now there are protesters who are skirting those park regulations by moving out to the sidewalk, which is technically the boundary of the park. Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill, thanks. And Governor